right, folks, Harley Day right here back at you once again, your good old friend HDR. Coming through the hills and the bends of West Virginia. Right now, I'm right outside of Weirton, West Virginia. Obviously, I just went down and picked up the bike here, the 2011 Harley Electric Glide Classic. And uh, I told Mrs. HCR afterwards, I said, look, this is what I'm gonna, this is my plan. I'm gonna go down and uh, pick the bike up, but I'm gonna go home on the back roads. She was, she's in the cage and she said she was gonna go to the mall for a little while. I said, that's good. Why don't you pick up the stuff that I needed from Walmart? And uh, you know how that goes over with your spouse. <laughs> She's like, oh, you want me to go to Walmart? I'm like, yeah, yeah, because that gives me time to ride before the rain starts. And uh, that's why I'm out here riding these, uh, these back roads here. Uh, you know, I went down to the Harley shop to knee and guards Harley Davidson on the highway. And I thought, you know, riding the highways is okay to get somewhere quick, but I thought you guys might uh, want to experience some of the back roads here and uh, have more fun in some of the twisties. And uh, so I thought I'd come out and uh, ride the back roads home. Just a better experience. Uh, a lot nicer nature out here, a lot of rolling hills. And uh, just real nice. I mean, my wife hates those too. Mrs. HR really hates those. She said, why does motorcycles have to do those, you know, where they don't put your feet down at a stop sign? I said, it's called a rolling stop. She said, a rolling stop? I said, yeah, you just kind of, like, if there's nothing coming, you just roll through it. And uh, I want to know how many of you out there do that. Um, you know, if you're on a road like this, I mean, there's nothing around here. This is a cool bridge right there. No, this isn't it. There's no water. <laughs> But yeah, uh, how many of you do the rolling stop? Not a bigger intersection like this with the, with the, you know, looks like a lot more traffic's coming down here. I always got to stop and look both ways. I don't want to uh, get ran over. So I do uh, stop here. Except for that car behind me just wanted to run over my ass. I don't quite understand that, you know, but. He must not have seen the stop sign, or maybe he used a motorcycle ride and thought that guy's going to do a rolling stop. I'll just run over him when he's trying to do that. But uh, people watch for motorcycles out there. If you're not on a motorcycle, and I know if you are a motorcyclist, I know that you are way more cautious than a cage driver. I know this for a fact. Oh man, road work ahead. Are you kidding me? Now let's see what's up here. How come whenever you want to take a leisurely stroll through the weeds or th through the woods, somebody always wants to follow you? Why couldn't that guy be uh, at the mall shopping somewhere or something? Wiggins. Wiggies? Wiggies. Wiggins? I don't know what that was. Must be a greenhouse. But yeah, whenever you want to take a nice leisurely stroll, you know, you got somebody following you, and that's a pain. But yeah, so the rolling stop is, is, a, is a true fact of life for a motorcyclist. Um, and yes, if you get caught, yes, you will get a ticket. Uh, and I understood when we went to uh, Sturgis last year, around Sturgis, they got the two, two foot rule. You must have two feet down at a stop sign. That proves that you're stopped. I don't know, somebody told us that, so I don't know how true that is, but it is what it is, huh? Now that guy's backed off. After he almost ran over me, he backed off a lot. But the, the bike is ready to go. They checked the bike all over. The only thing I needed, folks, uh, was the oil change. They did the oil change, and yes, I'm one of those people. I got the uh, chrome filter back on her. Uh, I just like the chrome filter. I like the way it looks. So they did that for me. They put the chrome filter back on, and uh, you know, a new filter. And they checked everything out and said, well, you're ready to go on your trip, bud. And I also, now that if you guys are a hog member, a national hog member, go to your local dealer and sign up for the hog mileage program. Uh, I signed my bike up and we found I already have enough mileage to get my 1,000 mile patch. So if you do any riding, you know, those are just nice, uh, nice tokens, nice momentums there to have a patch like that. So to put it on your vest. 
but yeah, so check that out. I mean, it's really cool. And uh, I'm going on this trip. I think there's a, th a thousand mile patch, a 2,500 mile patch, a 5,000 mile patch, and so forth and so on. So yeah, why not try to get those tokens? I mean, if you're a member of the National Hog, uh, if you're a member of the National Hog, why wouldn't you do it? That car is still following me. I might as well run him on the highway if he's going to push me through the through the wilderness. Oh well, that's all right. And I also signed up for the, uh, if you're a member of a local chapter, every local chapter does what they call chapter mileage. I don't know, it all works together is what they do. And when you're doing that, what happens is you're, you're, helping, the, you're helping your dealer out, wherever you deal with, whatever dealer the chapter is associated with. They combine all the mileage with all the members and the dealer gets some prestigious stuff for taking care of that many members. Uh, for members riding that many miles, so it's something to really uh, shoot for. So sign up also for your local hog chapter uh, if you're into that. If you're not, that's cool. That's uh, completely understandable. Matter of fact, they told me there's a meeting tonight, which I probably won't make because I had prior arrangements. <coughs> but then they have chapter rides. Uh, I'm taking you on a couple different chapter rides, uh, or look for dealer rides. If you're again, if you're into that, if you're not. That's perfectly fine. Some of us like to ride on our own. Um, you know, riding groups is cool though. A lot of people take notice of you when you're in them big groups. But, but we talked about that. You're riding with a lot of different riding styles. And, you know, maybe, maybe, um, you know, you don't trust your, oh, there's a lot of gravel right there. Maybe you don't trust your fellow riders, you know, because you've never ridden with them. And, hey, that is understandable, man. That is very understandable there, so. So what else is going on? I, I think I told you we did change our trip. I, I'm pretty sure, hey, welcome to Pennsylvania. I think I told you we changed our trip there to, um, we're leaving June 30th now. Uh, and I also commented back already, the gentleman in Memphis that would like to meet. We are planning on doing that. Uh, we're planning on getting hold of you when we're down that way. And uh, we will definitely meet up, if nothing else, for lunch. And uh, it's always nice to meet the folks that watch the YouTube videos. So I'm going to try to meet as many people as we can when we're on the road. Uh, uh, naturally, it'd be uh, Miss, me and Mrs. HDR, so we will uh, say hello. And uh, stop by wherever. I told her we're not pushing ourselves. We already, we're going to ride to Tell the Dragon, and I don't want to ride on the weekend based upon your comments. So we are now going to go down to Cherokee National Forest and stay for two days. And those two days uh, are going to be Saturday and Sunday. That will put us on the Tell the Dragon on Monday. Uh, that should be July 2nd. Uh, we should be down on the Tell the Dragon. So if you want to look us up in that area. Also follow my Facebook group, Harley Day Rider, because I'll be putting stuff on there of uh, where we're at where we expect to be and I think that's going to help out with everybody. Last year we had a gentleman that wanted to meet us I think it was in Indiana or Illinois, one of those uh, and we were we, we were unable to meet based upon uh, just timing of when we were leaving the areas and when we were coming in the areas so, so yeah but I'd like to meet as many of you uh, folks out there as we can just nice to say hi and you know look at your bike and if we can, take a little ride together. Nothing wrong with that. That's definitely a fun thing to do. All right, so other than that, I'm gonna go home. They told me they uh, did a quick wash on my bike. That, that was a lie. They did no wash on my bike. It's as filthy as it was when I dropped it off. So I'm going home to wash my bike. I did buy some Harley scratch remover. Um, uh, this liquid stuff. I'm sure you've seen it. Harley Scratch and I think it's called Scratch and Bug Remover, actually. And I'm going to try to remove some scratches on the bike and, you know, bump some of that stuff out. So that's what we'll do this afternoon before it rains. And then I'm going to put the bike away. Hopefully it'll be nice and clean and ready to go. Uh, but, uh, well, at least cleaner. It's not going to be ready to go because 
of the main factor that we're not leaving now, like I said, until June 30th. So I'll be riding a lot more before then, folks. I got plans of riding. Plans of filling my mileage. I want the 2,500 and the 5,000 mile patch for my vest. Now I got a reason to ride even more. Harley is the very smart marketers, right? How do you sell more tires? Well, and oil changes. The easiest way is, is to give people something for riding their bikes and then they're gonna ride more. That's how you do it. They're smart, right? They give you a patch, you ride another 5,000 miles, put another set of tires on your motorcycle, ride another 5,000. It's ingenious, the marketing they do uh, and the way they do that, so. But very pretty back out there. Very, very pretty. That's why I want to come this way. I just like to ride in the country. All right, everybody, just so I don't baffle you along there and keep chit chatting and da 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 da. I will talk to you next time. Have a great day, everybody. It's going to be raining here, I think, tomorrow. They have an MDA run down there, but I don't know. If it's raining, it just doesn't make me happy to ride. Not that I can't. We talked about that. I'd rather not. And Mrs. HDR, I gotta spend time with the missus. So uh, we're gonna be doing a movie tomorrow. So take care, everybody. Thanks for riding along with me today. I appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. Harley Day Rouse will be down and out in the gorgeous southwestern Pennsylvania. Bye bye for now. See ya. Nice little log cabin right there. Somebody may still live in there. Huh. That's pretty cool.